Now we can optimize our website with rigs for smaller devices and we call this responsive editing. And if you have a look here at the center of our toolbar, we have four breakpoint controls. We have our base breakpoint, which is if you edit your styles here, this is selected by default. All of the styles will be applied to smaller breakpoints. So to this one, this one, and this one. Then if, once I'm done with my layout, I'm happy with my styles. I want to make sure it looks good on all of those breakpoints. So we're just going to go through them one by one and we can make adjustments as needed. So I can click here. You can see now my canvas um, size changed now to 991, now to 767 and 478. So those are predefined. But of course, you can also just say, I want to have a look at the specific device width, in our case 600. So if I click here, you can see this is now 600 and it also changed our active breakpoint automatically. But we're going to have a look and start from the very top. So you can see here, I set for this heading a font size of 84 pixel. This is probably not going to look good on small devices. So I can just click Command Control plus B. This is the keyboard shortcut to toggle between the breakpoints. And I can see now I'm in the next um, smaller one. And you can also see this placeholder here. The 84 is the value that's being inherited by our base breakpoint. So this is really helpful to give you an idea of the kind of value, the range that we're working with. So I already know this is um, 84 is a bit too much. So if I'm going to change this to 72, you can see it looks much better. All right, Control Command B again, because I'm not going to make any other change here. And now you can see at this breakpoint mobile landscape that our columns are now stacked by default. And what you can do if you don't, like in this case, I actually want to have them next to each other. What I would do, I would set them both to 50 and you can see now this looks better. Again, our heading needs some refinement in terms of our font size, 72. It's coming from tablet portrait, what we said before here, you can see. This is using 84, 72, next smaller one, 72 as well. Now we go to 60 and this looks much better. If I go to the smallest one, you can see it's using 60 because that's what we just defined here. Now I have two columns next to each other, which in this case is um, not really what we're going for. So what you could do, you could just go to each column individually, set this from 50 to 100%. I'm not going to do this. I am actually going to go to my row because this is the container of our columns. And then row layout, I can scroll down and set my column direction. And I actually want to have them stacked. So now they are stacked by default. I'm just giving you a really simple example here. You can work with any CSS um, styling controls. So you can use margins, padding, width, um, positioning, opacity. You can go here to your image and set your CSS filter and say, I want to have this black and white here on my mobile device. Everything is possible. What's also possible and what you might want to use is the ability to hide certain elements or columns, rows or sections altogether. So the way to do this is just, I'm going to show this on the smallest breakpoint is just by hiding this orange text. So I just edit my element and then under style layout, I can say display none. And you can see it still shows in the builder. And this is because we obviously need to see it here. Otherwise there's no ability for us to edit it. But if we go, over to our preview, you can now see on the smallest breakpoint that this text no longer shows. If I go to my base breakpoint, so I would press use the keyboard shortcut again. You can see here it shows. Smaller breakpoint, it shows. Okay, smallest one, CSS filter, and we are also hiding this element. And this is how you would go about making sure that your site looks great on smaller devices. I would definitely recommend you just start at the base breakpoint, finish up your layout, and then you go one by one and have a look that it looks great on all of those smaller breakpoints. All right, that's everything for this video.